Hey, what's up? This is Josh from Break Your Stereo and Performance, and this is going to be a how to lift your 2018 Toyota Tacoma. And on this particular build, we're doing Rough Country's three inch lift, and there's a couple different options for this particular kit. And in this kit, we're going to be doing the lifted struts for the front. You got the N3 shocks on the rear, two inch blocks with the U bolts, and because this is a four wheel drive, we're going to be using the dip spacers. And then when we're done with the lift, we're going to be throwing on some 17 by 9 Fuel D560 Vapors. And then we're also going to put on some BF Goodrich 33 by 12 and a half 17s. So hang with us as we get this thing started. Okay, the first thing we did was remove the cotter pin on the tie rod in order to loosen the nut. Then we struck the spindle with the hammer to break the seal loose. Next, we removed the sway bar end link on both the driver and the passenger side. Then we loosen the three nuts on the upper strut mount. We use the jack to support the lower spindle. Then loosen the upper control arm ball joint nut. Also using a hammer to break the seal loose. Then we loosen and remove the lower strut mount bolt. Now we remove the three nuts on top of the strut. But before we can remove the strut, we have to take off the sway bar brackets in order to move the sway bar forward. So to get to them, we have to remove the skid plate. Then we remove the brackets that hold the sway bar in place. And then we were able to get the strut out. Because this is a four wheel drive, we have to install the diff spacers, but there's cutting involved. The instruction says to cut four inches across and one inch up, but we thought that was too high. All we needed was enough to clear the lip that flanges out, so we just marked that. Now this metal was thicker than we thought, so we used a few different tools in order to cut it. And as you can see, we cut just enough to remove that lip. Then we remove the diff mount bolts. And insert the spacers using the supplied hardware to bolt it together. after we torqued these down to specs. Now we were able to reinstall the bracket we trimmed. After that was complete, it was time to install the new strut, starting by hand tightening the upper strut mount bolts. But since these struts were longer than the originals, we had to pull away the spindle assembly away from the CV axle by popping off the hub and removing the axle nut giving us enough play to pull the lower control arm down and get the strut in. 
Once the strut was in, we were able to insert the lower strut bolt. And then we tightened it down. Then we reassembled the upper AM ball joint. Then we attached the tie rods onto the spindle and used the cotter pin. And reattached the brake line brackets to the A-arm and on the knuckle. And then we reattached the tie rod to the spindle and tightened it down. At this point, we were able to tighten up the three nuts on the upper strut mount. And then we tightened down the lower strut mount bolt. We attached the sway bar brackets and put the sway bar end links back on the knuckle. Now we were able to reinstall the skip plate. Okay, onto the rear. We started by loosening the shock bolts, but not removing them. Then we supported the rear axle with a jack. Once that was done, we were able to remove the U-bolts. Next, we inserted the two inch block between the axle and the leaf springs. Then installing the new U-bolts but still using the original U-bolt brackets. Tightening down in a crisscross pattern. Now to change out the shocks by removing the upper shock nut. And install the new shocks, starting with the bottom shock bolt, so the upper shock stud would push through enough to thread the nut. Then we torqued everything down to specs. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit that like button and click the red box in the lower right hand corner to subscribe to our channel. We are always putting out videos like this, tutorials, product reviews, stereo system design, and more. So you don't want to miss out. Subscribe now. If you're interested in lifting your Tacoma, buy this exact kit and wheel package by clicking the links in the description below. Financing is available on our website, so apply now and get approved and we will send this out to you ASAP. Again, this is Breaker Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching.